The Islamic Republic of Iran has a new president. I consider your vote as a heavy responsibility on my shoulders, and I pledge to continue to be a listening ear for your words and a voice for the voiceless and rejected. Masoud Pazeshkian secured 53.3% of the more than 30 million votes cast, beating his hardline conservative rival Saeed Jalil. The 71-year-old heart surgeon was the only moderate candidate within Iran's strict system, and he has previously been critical of the country's controversial morality police and isolationist policies from the world. He won on the promise of change, but his ability to act is limited. The supreme leader must be thanked because if the supreme leader were not present, my name definitely would not have come out of the ballot boxes. He knows. We know he's always going to play second fiddle to the supreme leader. But this is the big question, the million-dollar question. What does the rest of the regime, including Khamenei and the Revolution Guards, think right now this country needs to do in terms of change, changes domestic, foreign, to maintain political stability at a time where you have an 85-year-old supreme leader who might leave the stage and you don't want a crisis on your hands during that transition period. Pazeshkian's message has been of unity, something many international leaders might welcome. But domestically, his main promise is to deal with the economic impact of sanctions. Honestly speaking, I just hope the expensiveness decreases and jobs are easily found for young people. And that's it. I do not have any other special feelings. I am happy that he was elected. But on an international scale, not much is expected to change. Big issues like what to do with the United States, what's Iran's position on Israel, what is Iran's position on, on, on the nuclear program, its missile program, its regional uh, actions. He has made it clear that those will be outside his purview. While for regular Iranians, the new president could have a major impact on their day-to-day -day lives.